school environment, especially for girls, to make them, to encourage them so that they can have interest. Hi. Yeah, sweetie. Hi. What is the problem? You look so worried. Are you okay? Are you alright? Please sit down. What is it? I just got a call from my mother's doctor. Oh my god. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. Is she, she okay? I mean, what? Hey, come on. Hey, hey, please. Don't get yourself worked up. Nothing happened to her. Oh god. Oh, thank god, thank god. god. My mother is not dead. Why are you wearing this face? I mean, you almost got me scared. Well, like I said, she's not dead. My mother's still alive. The doctor said my mother's been diagnosed of... What was that? I can't even remember. He said it's a medical condition that leads to depression. I'm just... I'm just bothered about the condition the doctor gave. Sweetie, listen. Whatever condition that he has given should not be the problem. We must try so hard to help with the condition. Sweetie, listen, if it is money, I can contribute. That's not a problem. We all know that your mother is not the easiest person to live with, but hey, she's your mother, okay? And we can't just sit and let her suffer because the condition is difficult. Sweetheart, sweetheart, why don't you let me tell you the condition first? Believe me, if I say it, you just may not like it. <laughs> okay. W what is the condition? The doctor advised my mother should no longer stay alone. He says she should be staying with a family member, somebody close to her. I mean, what's the meaning of, what's the meaning of that? I know you understand exactly what I am saying and that is why I am bothered. My mother's been staying with Lucy, but according to the doctor, Lucy is not a blood relative. She needs somebody closer, you know, a family member. Bottom line is, the doctor wants me to bring my mother here oh, to stay with her. Oh, God, I mean, oh. God. This is very tough. Very, very tough. Oh, God. I mean, what sort of condition is this, by the way? What? Believe me, I don't know. He used all sorts of medical jargons. I really didn't understand what he was saying. The only thing I could get was the conclusion, which is, if I don't want my mother to die, then I'll bring her here to stay with us. This thing he lured me to do is against the ethics of my profession. That's why I paid you a whooping sum of 200,000 naira for a mere phone call. So it was not a mere phone call. I distorted information on my client's health. Dr. Daniel, why are you bothering yourself? Well, I am bothered because I have spoken to your son and I know he is uh, very intelligent. He may decide to take you to another doctor and this new doctor may discover that there is nothing wrong with you. <laughs> is that why you're bothered? Yes. Eh, my dear, who told you that I'm going to allow them to take me to another doctor? You are my doctor. If I need medical attention, I must ensure and force them to take me to my doctor. <laughs> well, very well then. If you promise that you can do that, and I can assure you that I won't be bothered anymore. You don't need to be bothered. See, you're not talking to an ordinary madam. You're talking to Madame Lufthansa. <laughs> you should be happy and grateful to God that you are the one I trust. See, that lunatic will not enter my house. The lunatic my son wants to bring home. She will never enter my house as my daughter-in-law. Never. You have not told me what you have against the girl. Do I need to tell you everything? Thanks for the phone call. <laughs> You're welcome. I don't know what 
What is wrong with me? Oh. Mother, 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 you should, you should know what the problem is. <sighs> How I wish I know. Hey, well, the doctor is even making things worse by keeping silent. He said he wants to talk to my son. I don't know what he told you. I don't know what he told you. Oh, Jesus. Look, mother, mother. Mother, please. Please, I need you to hang on for me. You are a strong woman, mother, and you cannot, I say it again, mother, you cannot succumb to a death. Never. Thank you very much, my son. I am hanging on. Oh, I am hanging on. Please, tell me what the doctor said. He has refused to tell me anything. Hey, hey, what? Don't worry about what the doctor said. I'm coming to pick you this night. Coming this evening. He has even refused to admit me, even when my condition is getting worse. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, well, we, we cannot argue with the doctor. He's a professional. That's, uh, that's his field. It's his field. But listen, from me, I tell you, hang on. I'm coming to pick you this evening, okay? Your son is coming to pick you up. Just hang on for me, mother. Yeah, well. <sighs> What was that? I told you my plans are always working. You can see this one is already working. Eh? <laughs> Thanks for the telephone call anyway. Believe me, I, I I don't know what is going on. But my command, look, did, did you hear my mother's voice? I've never heard her talk like this. This this is really serious. It's terrible. You're going to go to her house and bring her here. Yes. I mean, with the way she's sounding, the condition is really terrible. Oh, you know what my problem is? I have to be in Abuja next week for the training I told you about then. Oh, come here, baby. How, how are you going to cope with my mother? Don't worry, okay? God will be my strength. I, I think the, the whole scenario is a different one. We're going to be playing the host while she'll be the guest, so it's a different scenario. Don't worry, okay? Hmm? Don't worry, okay? Has my son called you on phone? No, ma, but I'm sure he has my number. He may call you today. And if he calls you, I want you to tell him that I have been sick in my room for some time now. That the doctor has been coming to check on me. Uh, excuse me, ma. Do you want me to start lying? God will punish me if you lie. I only permit you this once to tell this lie. Because it's for a purpose. There's a game I'm trying to set up. Eh? And I want you to do just what I say. Okay, ma. What are we to answer? What kind of woman is this? You can't be like man first time in your life. Hello? Yeah, hello. Um this is Esther. Good evening, Lucy. Um, how are you? Hey, Aunt Esther. I'm fine. How did you get my number? <laughs> well, um, Hilary gave me your number. The doctor called to say that um, mother is really sick. How is she? Uh, <clears throat> I don't know what her problem is. I just know that the doctor has been coming and going. Okay, um, did the doctor tell you anything? No, what would he tell me? I just know that Madame has been upstairs in her room, sick. Um, well, um, my fiancé is coming to bring her over to our house, alright? Why? 
he will come and take madame and I will stay here alone. <laughs> um, well, I don't know anything about that, but um, when Hillary comes over, I guess you all can talk about it. Alright? Oh, okay. Life. Sweetie, I think this is very serious and I think we should not even delay. I mean, if anything happens to your mother and she dies, the doctor will tell you that he gave you a solution to the problem and people will say that your mother died out of your negligence. Oh sweetie, I think you should go bring her here. Okay. Okay. can't be where Madame Lufthansa will lay her head to sleep now. It's like boys' quarter. Why would you say a thing like that? There's nothing wrong with this room. This is beautiful. This room is actually better than most of the rooms you have in some big hotels in this town. <laughs> but I have not come to stay in the hotel. I have come to stay in my son's house. And I have to be very close to him. <laughs> and what other sort of closeness do you want? We're already under the same roof, so... That woman from Israel, Lisa should not be staying in the same room with you. You know I'm a Christian mother. I shouldn't allow that to continue. Well, she can stay in one of the rooms here. That is if she has to stay here at all at all. <laughs> I have to say, in the master's bedroom with my son. How can you think a thing like that? Me and you stay in my master's bedroom. Am I married to you? <laughs> my dear. <laughs> You're not even married to anybody yet. So, I'm still your mother, your friend, your sister, your wife, everything. <laughs> Listen, one thing I won't allow is you be manipulated. Hmm? That's not possible. My son cannot be manipulated. Uh, I'm sorry to say this, mother, but... You're actually not sounding like someone who is sick. I mean, this is not how you were sounding over the phone. I'm, I'm starting no. to wonder if you are really sick. You are right, my dear. Yeah. That doctor, very wonderful doctor, he said for me to get better, I should stay close to my son. And the thing is working. So you can see he's, he knows his job very well. Very wonderful doctor. My dear, <laughs> there are doctors and there are doctors. This one. He's a good doctor. I give it up to him. Chineke, the moment I stepped into this compound, my entire body started coming back. And I can feel like I am Madame Lufthansa again. Chineke. No, Lucy has to come here. Now listen to Mr. Fitz. Why on earth would you want to take me for a ride? So, who was the lady that picked your call last night? That's what you said, and I already told you that it's possible that the number's jammed. <laughs> Can you tell me you don't know the numbers do jam? You know, this feeling you're playing with my intelligence and I sincerely do not like it I will ask you again who was the lady that picked your phone last night you know Susan why would you want to know something that will make you feel bad 
my name is her face I'm not into any knight or orderhood, but I'm known as Sir. Have you ever wondered why they address me as Sir? Because I'm mighty when it's time to show where the man is. So come on, let us drink and be happy. Let's not spoil this whole gathering. Let's marry. Why would I want to know what will make me feel bad. Surface, you know what? I don't understand that line, and Please explain to me because I don't get it. You know, you're asking to know who the woman that answered my phone. And I ask you, Susan, what are you going to do with her identity when you get to know who she is? Oh! Automatically, you have confirmed that a lady actually picked your call, right? On the line that not just a lady my wife answered my phone last night you have a wife it, it's gonna look like a surprise but i have to tell you i don't have just a wife i have a family with two lovely daughters and two big boys so come on Surface, you had us all this while and you never told me. You do something. All of you girls in this town are full of shit. You followed me because you believe I'm a millionaire that can satisfy your financial lust. Can you swear on your life that you were never into any relationship before I met you? You came because of money and I know I've given you essence of it. Now that you know I'm married with a family, you can now go back to your Mr. Handsome and know that he really, really loves you. Surface, come back here and sit your butt down! <laughs> I understand the look on your face, but I'll tell you, if you want to continue, I shall continue, but I must warn you, I'm part of a dynamic frontage. If you come after my family, I swear to God, I will come after your soul. right. Cold. And I'm caught in the middle now. How am I supposed to call this phone? I can't even call his number. I mean, how? I am beginning to think that you're not as simple as I have always believed. Why would you say that? Kimberly, you're a criminal, and I am not comfortable with it. Criminal? Well, if you say I'm a field man for the mafias, I would say you're not far from the truth. But calling me a criminal? Let's see, criminal. All right, I, I'm not the kind of criminal that you have in your mindset. Oh, yeah? What kind of a criminal are you then? Because the implied meaning of your conclusion means that you're a criminal but not any kind of criminal. I knew you were going to call me someday but I didn't know it was going to be this soon. Please, Kim. Do you know anything about dynamic frontage? Oh, are you that cheap? You want to send them after me or want to send them against me? Kim, somebody threatened me with dynamic frontage. Please, I beg of you. I need to get some information about it. Please. 
Uh, let me ask you, why are you digging inquiries from me when you told me yourself that Kimberly was nothing? I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. Please, if you know anything about it, I need to know about it, I beg of you. Well, for old time's sake, I'm just going to pass you an information, okay? Dynamic frontage, or whatever they call themselves, um, is a group of assassins. They were used by politicians to silence opposition, as in local politicians. It was headed by, as a matter of fact, it was formed by one Ololo. The same Ololo was killed by a politician whom he had gone to kill. And uh, ever since then, the group has been under the leadership of one idiot called Surface. What a name. <clears throat> anyway, um, dynamic frontage is nothing. I mean, um, if they threaten you again, you just call me, okay? Uh, I'm sorry if I'm asking for too much. Please, this is Surface of a man. Do you know him in person? Listen, Surface is a low-life riffraff criminal. I don't talk about low-life criminals. Um, can I see you tonight? I should come to your place. You know I wouldn't do that. But I'm going to do something right now. I'm going to call this idiot called Surface to my present location as we speak. And then you will follow the story afterwards. Hello. Kimberly, do you know I don't understand you at all? You want to invite an assassin to this place? Listen, Brenda, you sit back, relax, put on your seatbelt, and watch me slowly. I'm sorry, I'm and not in for that. I'm going to prove to you that I am bigger than all the assassins in this town put together. Oh, yeah? Lucy. I'm sorry to say this, but I will not have you wear things like this in this house. Like how? Because for all I know, I'm just wearing very normal girly outfits. Oh, wait. Wait. Because you see me as Madame Lufthansa's housemaid, you think I've got no sense of fashion yet? Hmm? Okay. Let me remind you that I was formerly a model and I had gone far in my career before I, I quit at some point. And that was because some of those lousy officials, most of them wanted to have me behind closed doors, but I wouldn't have any of that, so I quit. Listen, Lucy, I'm not meaning to dig into your past, oh. but I want you to realize that there is a man in this house and that man mm -hmm. happens to be my fiance. So I'll advise you to stop dressing like this. <laughs> Are you serious, Brother Hillary? <laughs> Esther, please don't be ridiculous. How can you possibly imagine that Brother Hillary will, will have something with his sister? Why? How? Brother Hillary, I don't want to drag this for so long. Brother Hillary, as you call him, is not your brother. You're not even related in any way. Listen, Lucy, you know that Brother Hillary drinks and gets tipsy from time to time. And you know what a man can do when they get tipsy? They can do the un unimaginable. I advise you, Lucy, stop dressing this way in this house. You know you're my friend. And I don't want anything to come between us. But honestly, if you don't have decent clothes to wear in this house, I will personally go to the market and get you something really decent. And I warn you again, don't you ever wear this thing in this house again. The game has just started. And I'm happy you understand the game so well. See, 
Hillary here has a vast empire he inherited from my husband. You now work with me so I can trust you. Lie him. Try him to yourself. Eh? You know what I mean. You know what, Esther? Let me tell you the truth. I have no interest whatsoever in Father Hillary. I can't even imagine the possibility of he and I ever having anything to do together. I also want you to know that your major problem is Madame Lufthansa. The earlier you began to realize that she is your greatest hurdle that you have to surpass, the better for you. Leave innocent Lucy out of it. Innocent Lucy? Is she really that innocent? So who is that girl in there? Oh, that? Yeah. <laughs> well, her name is Brenda Pascal. She came across as a taxi driver. Taxi driver? Yep. But I found out afterwards that she was more than a taxi driver. You know, that girl is the head of one of the biggest pimp factories around. You know, she's got the numbers of the main men in this town. They talk to her directly. They don't joke with her. So that means you don't have anything to do with her. And I'm readily asking you to pass her over to me. I bet you appreciate that. <laughs> pass Brenda over to you. Yeah, come on. Anyway, um... <clears throat> Brenda is not that kind of cheap girl that friends pass over to each other. Why don't you go for her yourself? If you win, hallelujah. If you fail, you go back and re-strategize. Okay? Anyway, um, I shall talk about Brenda. Tell me about that Susan. Oh, Susan. Susan is one of those girls that walk around town to be a working class girl. But I tell you, she is a corporate prostitute. Can you imagine that Susan called my phone and a girl lying next to me picked the phone? And Susan now has the guts to ask me who picked my phone. Can you imagine that? Yeah. I can imagine that. I can imagine that you're a fool. You're very, very foolish. This is the problem I have with you guys who call yourselves dynamic frontage. You're too proud, too full of yourselves. There's a young girl in love with you, calls you, another woman picks the call. And you're here telling me, can you imagine that? Feeling gaga, feeling proud about it. You're stupid. You guys have nothing up there. You're stupid. <laughs> Susan is my baby. I know you've had her. Shit happens. Oh, manage that. Thank you, thank you. But the next time you try this with me, I'll be a dead man. Thank you, man. thank you. Let me go. Run! Okay. Run! So you called yourself a criminal and you didn't know when I took this from this. Where is Oh, I, I was going to call you. Where, where, where did you disappear to? Where is the gun? The gun? What do you mean, where is the gun? Um, come off it. 
You actually think I didn't see what happened out there? You knocked those guys off and since they are gone. <laughs> I'm happy my boyfriend is a superman. <laughs> oh. So where's the gun? I'm not your boyfriend. Huh? You're calling me your boyfriend because you're you're beginning to see the man in me, you know? But I'll tell you something right now. You don't know me. Oh yeah? That's what I want. I want to know you. If you can remember, I actually told you that you're not as basic as I used to think. <laughs> well, that explains why you called me a criminal, remember? And you called me that name because you saw me with that expensive, expensive Toyota car. Well, I'll just tell you right now, that's the least in my collection. You see, I, I am large, but I live low. <laughs> like I said before, <clears throat> you follow me slowly. Very slowly. You'll get to like me. You might even fall in love. Come on, let's take a drink. <laughs> I'm beginning to like this, you know. <laughs> That's what you women like. You like men who are men. What shall I do to please my man? It's definitely the same thing I, I heard about Israel and Israel women. Look at the kind of room she's staying with my son. And they went to put me in that visitor's room. Or even boys' quarter. Lufthansa. Okay. I'm sorry, Ma. You're here. I'm not here. I'm on your head. You must be an idiot to think that I'll be in any other place in this place apart from the master's bedroom. You should be at the boss quarter. Eh? After all, you're not yet married to my son. I don't even know what you're doing here. Should you be here? See, the doctor said I should be close to my son. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, ma. I, I, I mean, are you staying in the master's bedroom? I don't mean it. But I'm here already. You can see I'm staying, and I don't have any intention of leaving. See, if you have anything here, you know, where you should be is at the boys' quarter. I've told you this. Boys' quarter. Boy, boy. Eh? If there's anything you regard as very important in this room, I advise you quickly pick them up and relocate to wherever. <laughs> also, is it Lisa? Also. Why would I have such a difficult woman as a mother? Why? Sweetheart. Sweetheart, are you aware that your mother has taken over the master bedroom? Are you aware of that? Yes, I am aware. That is why I'm just sitting here. So confused. I've told her everything. I've tried to explain to her, but she just wouldn't listen to me. It is clear to me that she is here to cause problems. Let's just avoid her. Avoid her? She doesn't want to be avoided. Every time you're trying to avoid her, she just throws herself at you. Listen and listen carefully. I don't even know why I, I brought myself into this, this trouble in the first place. So what do we do? Tell me, what do we do? Send her back to where she came from and wait for the news of her death? Is mm -mm, that mm -mm. it? I did not say that at all. You know I would never say that. You know it. Listen. She's your mother, okay? She's also my mother. I want her to leave to see her grandchildren and benefit from them. But we really have to know how to handle her in this house. Because... 
The best thing is to avoid her. Give her whatever she wants and avoid her. Somebody tried to call you. I do have better things to do than sit here and let you know that your phone is ringing. So help me out. Hello. Yes, I was hoping you would call me back. Well, sorry, I, I, I couldn't uh, talk freely that time because I was handling some kind of uh, complicated emergency. Sorry to disturb you. Can you talk freely now? Yes, I'm cool. I can talk. All right. I want you to tell me what I must do. The corporate training starts day after tomorrow, but I must be in Abuja tomorrow. And obviously, I cannot take your patient with me, so I'm just wondering, what do I do? Are you traveling with your girlfriend? No, 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 no. My girlfriend will be around. She's working, so she can't, she can't uh, leave her work. I was even thinking of putting her in a hotel where she can have some peace of mind. Why would you want to do a thing like that? My mother is always frustrating. And you know, I love her so much. So, so much. I wouldn't want her to suffer on account of my mother's extreme dimensions to almost everything. Uh, now, if you must listen to me, allow her to stay with your mom. She's the one to replace you when you are not there. Replace me? Of course not. She cannot replace me. My mother does not like her one bit. <laughs> Is that what you think? Okay, let me tell you. Your mom loves her so much. She just grinded her to the extreme to be sure that she's a good woman that can take care of her son. <laughs> Is that what my mother told you? Oh, but you don't forget that she's my patient and she tells me everything. Just uh, uh, tell your girlfriend not to argue with your mother and she must make sure that um, she gives her all that she requests and anything that will make her miss her son must be avoided and then you can embark on your training all right thank you for your time I'll see what i can do that's all right have a good day she is the mother of my love but she does not like me She is the mother of my love But she I does not like point. me What shall I do to please mama? Hey wo, obogini kam geme She can go any length to destroy my love and to destroy my Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Yes. What is your problem? I, I, I'm very sorry, sir. I, I'm very sorry. Are you pregnant? No, no, no sir. I, I am not pregnant. I'm not even yet married. I. I'm not pregnant, sir. I'm sorry. You've been sleeping since morning and I want to believe that you have not done things you're supposed to do in this office. I am the immediate boss. Confide in me. Tell me what is the problem. Let me see how I can help you. Okay, sir. I'm sorry. I, I actually had late visitors last night and I slept around 5 a.m. this morning. That's why I've been sleeping in the office. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. I, I, I swear it will never happen again. You better sit up. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Sit up. Thank you, sir. Otherwise, I will sit you down. To please you, Mama. Esther, why would you be sleeping in the office? This is unlike you. Why? To please you, Mama. Mama said I am bad. My food is bad. I've been trying so hard to understand you, but I've not been able to do that. What are you saying? Madam, Esther is beginning to suspect me, and I'm not comfortable with that. I don't know what you mean by that. Well, she... She's insinuating that I'm, I'm trying to seduce Brother Hillary. Goodness. You're such a fool. Why do we have to call him Brother Hillary? Is he your brother? Stop calling him Brother Hillary. He's not your brother. I'm, I'm 
sorry, it's just that I'm used to calling him Brother Hillary. Uh, just call him less of that, or even stop calling him that entirely. This is somebody I'm positioning to get, uh, get married to you. Huh? He's not your brother, so don't call him brother. Yes, ma'am. Can go. Thank you, ma'am. Hello. Yes, hello. This is Dr. Daniel. Hello, my one and only Dr. Daniel. How are you doing? How is life with you? Well, uh, your son called a short while ago. He said he's traveling to Abuja tomorrow. Hmm. He didn't tell me that. Have a head. Maybe he's going to tell you tonight. He raised some issues and I want to hear from you before I say anything. What issues did he raise? Well, uh, he said that he's going to be in Abuja for one month for what he called compulsory training. He wanted to know what would be your fate. Is he traveling with his girlfriend? No, she's not going with him. But he actually wanted to know if there would be any problem if she stayed with you. Okay. If he calls you again, tell him his mother will be okay with the girlfriend. But tell him to warn his girlfriend not to provoke the mother to the extent that she'll start missing her son. If she does, anything can happen. Do you mind telling me your grouse against this girl? Just do your job. Mm, what shall I do? The only source of my joy is what she wants to take away from me. Boss. Hey, good morning. How are you today? I'm fine, boss. So you look good this morning. Thank you. Don't you like what you see? I am traveling to Abuja tomorrow and I kept asking myself why my boss wouldn't take his confidential secretary. Are you crazy? Huh? Are you crazy? When did you start this? Hey, hey, hey. Go, go stand right there. Stand right there. And put your hands behind you. Do you know a company named Barrio and Chagall? Yeah, they're closed now. You know why they're closed? I was never close to them, so I can hardly tell why they're closed. All right, I will tell you why they're closed. A secretary like you forced that company to shut down. How is that ever possible, sir? Secretaries are harmless, mainly when they're attracted to their immediate bosses. As I'm attracted to you, sir. Shut up! Get back. Put your hands behind you, right now. Barrio and Chagall were brothers. They were senior partners in the firm. Stand straight while I talk to you. And then the devil punished them with a lady named Bianca, a secretary. Bianca was just like you, beautiful. She came and threw herself at both men with all the seductive flair she learned from Jezebel, her mother. And you know what happened? Both men started sleeping with her. It became so open that they took her to almost all their trainings and meetings, like the one I'm about to attend. Bianca became so attached to both men that they lost the firepower to curtail her excesses. The result is that the firm closed down and Bianca relocated to Canada. What makes you think that I am the kind of man who would repeat the fallacy of Barrio and Chagall? It pains me so much that I don't trust it, sir. You don't think I can destroy your business? Stop right where you are. You look angry, sir. Is there anything the matter? For how long have you been planning this madness? Madness? Your secretary is in love with you and you call this madness. I talk to you, you 
on each other. For you to nurture this kind of immoral thoughts in your head means only one thing. You are fired. When I get back from Abuja, you come to my office and get your entitlement. Get out. Sir. I said get out of my office. Surprised how this guy was able to disarm you guys last night with ordinary jackknife. I mean, it's something that beats my imagination. You know, it took that event to actually show me that we are nothing. I thank God I have my life back to myself. You know, Taita had already put a trigger against him before we realized that he had already emptied our guns while we drank in the oasis. And if you should ask me how we did it, I'll tell you I don't know. So, are you telling me to go for the guy? You know, if I do, I'll end up killing him. You know, he told me to run and, as a matter of fact, I ran. He bent over to Taita and told him to respect the sanctity of human life. If you ask me, I will tell you to do the same. Hello. Do you know who killed Ololulu? Who told you about Ololulu? Even when men do not have eyes in their backs, they have mastered monitoring what happened behind them. Now listen, why are you not watching your back? Sorry, can you tell me why you called me? <sighs> do you know any man called Kimberly? Yes, Kimberly. What about Kimberly? I understand you are his girlfriend. So why are you asking me about him? I want you to apologize to me for every single thing you have done to me. Forever toil with my emotions. Else, I will come for you. You're talking to me? Do you know who you're talking to? Surface, who are you? Who are you? Who you be? I want to know who you are. You're stupid. The woman you said is your so-called rubbish wife is not your wife. You don't have any wife and you don't have a life. Now listen to me. By the time I deal with you, oh, hey, you will consider fleeing from this town for me. I'm telling you the truth. Woman, I understand your boyfriend has briefed you. And now you're talking tough. But I want you to understand something. Listen properly, woman. I want you to know it's not over until it's over. Sir, face, face, faceless face, you have no face. Now let me tell you something. I was told you came to my neighborhood last night with raw acid. <laughs> if you had tried that rubbish with me, pour acid on me, my dear, you would have gone through a serious elimination process that even man had never considered going through. I can understand that you've been playing with Kimberly, maybe since last night. Whoever I play with is none of your business. Do I sense jealousy here? Listen to me, Surface. You have from now to the end of business on Monday to apologize to me. Send an SMS to my phone apologizing for everything you have done. And as for that, your dynamic frontage. <laughs> I will let you know that even the small, small scout can handle it. I have said, my own, if you like, listen. If you like, no listen. Now you know. Idiot. This guy is gradually opening up on us. And I think we must have to figure out what to do to him. Is he the same guy that disarmed you guys last night? He has told her everything about Ololulu. He has told her everything about my private life. And he has told her everything about dynamic frontage. But, but who is this idiot that is opening our cover to cheap ladies? And as a matter of fact, I'm leaving this town, like, right now. Um, Kimberly, I... I never knew you were disconnected. You know, you sounded like a drunk on the phone, so... I decided to play wise. <laughs> you know what you just told me now, um... is what I call the wisdom of very weak ladies. That's not a nice compliment. I'm Kimberly. sorry. I'm, I'm sorry if that's how you feel, but the truth is that 
A smart woman wouldn't judge a man by what she sees. A smart woman would judge a man by what comes out of the mouth of the man. You know, you never gave me a chance, even when I tried. Anyway, now you know that the people you respect, the people you fear, the people whose names you hear and you crumble, are the same people who wouldn't even be able to lace my shoes. Kim, you're not sounding proud now, are you? <laughs> well, I'm sorry if it looks like I'm sounding proud. Take it or leave it. This so-called uh, dynamic, whatever. Dynamic frontage. Dynamic frontage. <laughs> oh my God. They would never ever come for you again, knowing that I have something to do with you. Mm. You know why? Why? They know what I represent. Now tell me, baby. What do you represent? <laughs> Well, I represent due process. I take from the rich and distribute to the poor. Even politicians fear us. They fear us so much they Christian us. They give us names. You know what they call us? Mm -mm. They call us the mafia. You see, in civilized world, they call us the police. The unofficial police, that is. <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> now, sweet. Mm. You know, as a woman, it's good that from time to time you're handled and handled and handled. I hear you. You know, um, I'm happy you enjoyed yourself. Yeah. All right, uh, I don't beat around the bush, you know what I'm saying? I I just call a spade a spade. My name is Kimberly. I'm sorry, I'm not in the mood to make friends. Excuse me. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Just hold up. Why are you preventing yourself from making friends? You don't want to make new friends? Are you trying to tell me you're comfortable with the ones you have? All right, if you're that comfortable, why didn't they buy you a car instead of letting you, allowing you stand in this hot weather? Is that how they buy cars? That's how they buy cars. That's how they buy cars, my girl. Anyway, um, let's not go into all of this. See. I was going that way and I saw you and I turned back to come and take you wherever you want to go. Well, I'm going home and you surely don't look to me like one who would just meet a girl and next thing you want to take her home. I don't understand, man. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> All right, can I tell you the truth right now? I'm taking you home. Esther. Oh, so. I can see you are busy. Yes, I am. All right, um, I want you to go home with these files. Okay. They contain 10 proposals we receive from different companies and businesses. Okay. I want you to study it properly and make your recommendations that we're going to send to them. The meeting is for 11 tomorrow morning. And I want to see these recommendations by nine letters. Have I made myself clear? Yeah, yes, sir, you've made yourself clear. All right. Get back to work. Yeah. Thank you, sir.
here we are. This is where I live. Well, with your husband? Don't be ridiculous. I never told you I was married. Wow. Nice place. Nice place. Thank you. I stay here with my mother and my brother. Ah, okay. In that case, uh, let me come down and say hello to your mother and your brother. Oh. Um, I doubt if I'll ever allow that. Even if I do, not today. You know, um, within the last few minutes that we've uh, spent together, I, I've been looking at you and, and, you know, trying to figure out, figure out how you'd look, how fantastic, how edible you look when the lights are dim and the doors are closed. <laughs> you know, when you picked me from the road, and brought me back home without branching someplace to see somebody or get something, I concluded that you are a gentleman. Uh -huh. And I was starting to like you. But here you are parked in front of my gate and you're starting to talk like a playboy. You know what? I am disappointed in you. Excuse me. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hold it, hold it. All right, uh, from the way you just talked, uh, I know you don't like rubbish. You don't take it. So I want to say I'm sorry. So uh, tell me you've forgiven me. Call me around 10, 30, 11. Then we'll talk. Call me around 10, 30, 11. And then we'll talk. I'll call you. Hey! Huh? Huh? Ask I want to know what you wanted to prove. Uh, that you have suddenly become a chick? No, Ma. That's not what it is. I uh, actually listen to that guy because I want to lure him to you so you can use him. What? Use him? Yeah. My goodness. Use him. Is that your impression about me? No. What? You think I'm one of those useless women that bring themselves down before boys that could go for their sons? Please. Me? Calm down, calm down. You're getting, you're getting me wrong. I just met that guy today, and in the course of my interaction with him, I discovered that he has got a talent. This guy has this gift of talking to women, and he has his way with them. And I'm thinking I can actually bring him here so you can use him to lure Esther. What do you mean, use him to lure Esther? This guy talks Esther, she would melt. And then he would take her to a hotel where you catch them red handed. The guy is awesome. I trust he'll pull it off. Oh my goodness. Why have I been a fool all this while? See? Never thought of that. See? <laughs> but come on. You think Esther is this porous? Ah, porous cough, porous knee. Not with this guy. This guy is a smooth operator. He'll get her. I know he, you want me to call him back so we we'll start the briefing immediately? I can do that. Can I call him back? No, mm, not now. Not now. There you are. Um, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I ran into some. Oh yeah. 
Why don't you tell me the right thing? Because you know I'm not gonna kill you. You ran into a babe, and in your nature, you decided to follow her. Do you know my man, so stop playing responsible around me. Hold it, hold it, hold it. I'm not your man. Yeah. Okay, so why do you keep following me bumper to bumper? I'm following you because you're good. I saw some great talents in you. And when I see people like that, I don't let them go. Oh, that means... Just a minute. Okay. Yes. Yeah, you are not going to do it, me, but... You do it with someone else. Well, listen to me. I'm, I'm standing right here with one of, the, one of the best pimps in the world. You know, I know what you want from me. You want to have your way with me, right? And I can tell you immediately that I like you too. So I'm going to give you someone better than I am who can do it better than I can. Hmm, you're sure? All right, uh, where, where is this person that you want to introduce to me? Um, <clears throat> I'll call you later, so we'll plan it. All right, we're going to talk and talk and talk well. Am I the one you're insulting? Uh, why will I insult you? Why? I'm not insulting you, I've not insulted you, and I will not insult you. You just you. call me a pimp. You just told someone that you're with a pimp. No, 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 no. Listen to me, sweetheart. When you have a great talent, you need to, like, show it. You need to be proud of your talent. You, it was, who just told me, right now, before my face, that you're going to make money from me. That I'm a great talent. Is that not? Now, I'm going to make money from you, too. And that leaves two of us. We're going to make money from each other, you know? Just like that. That makes you a pimp. That makes me pimp. <laughs> Come on, baby, strike it. Let's okay, you. Strike it. not know what to serve at a particular time? Mama, I mean, I, I don't understand. I mean, this is hot okra soup and it's very tasty. <coughs> Cheap defense. Cheap! Who told you that you can serve dross soup on a day like this? After the heavy damper we have today? Will you remove this rubbish? Take it back to the kitchen and serve me Hot rice! White rice for that matter! Take it away! Okay. How many by grandmothers? Mother should have taught you better. Can you help me open it? Yes, I will. Because I'm your maid. Do not be offended, mother, but you are not making sense to me at all. I have this feeling that you want me to break it down for you, and I'm not going to disappoint you. You are traveling to Abuja first flight tomorrow morning, and Lucy is traveling with you. Ah, oh, mother, mother. Mother, you know, most times when you talk, I wonder why I don't know. I just get this feeling you're just doing these things to provoke me. Why? Why do you like causing problems and unnecessary trouble? Why? Is it that I'm concerned with the welfare of my son that you call trouble? My dear, you know there are so many bad people in Abuja 
and who may want to harm you. But Lucy can be trusted. She will take care of everything you eat. Do you realize that we will be lodged in a hotel? Wait a minute. Is there anything wrong with you lodging in the same room with Lucy? Ah. Uh, don't tell me you have become so irresponsible that you lost after Lucy that caused your brother. Do not provoke me. I will not travel with anybody. I don't want to drag this issue. I will not travel with anybody. I have already booked her flight too. And she's ready and fully prepared. She's traveling with you tomorrow. Esther will be here with me. Then go to the website where you booked the ticket and cancel it. I repeat, mother, I will not travel with anybody. Do not provoke me. <laughs> I will not rest until that stupid cellulis a woman lives your life. She can go any length to destroy my love, to destroy my joy. Mama said I am bad, my food is bad, all about me is bad. Mama said I am bad, my food is bad, all about me is bad. Esther! Esther! Uh, Mama! Mama! I know what is the problem. You asked me to make rice for you. I have made it for you. For the two weeks you were with me in my house, did you ever see me eat rice, ordinary white rice and stew? Common sense would have told you that it should go with an accompaniment. You should have served it with beans, moi moi, Planting or any other thing. Is that the way your mother thought you? Mama. Eh? Mama. I cannot eat white rice and stew alone. I cannot. Mama, I am very sorry. I am so sorry. It will never happen again. Mama, it is past midnight already. And I'm going to work tomorrow. I need to sleep. Hey! hey. Esther! You tell me to my face that you value your work more than me? I did not say that, Mama. I'm only saying that I have promised that this will never happen again. Mama, please. I can hear Peggy, please. Should I break it down for the rest of you? Eh? Well, I cannot eat white rice and stew alone. In this house, we have beans. We have blender. Just go back to that kitchen and prepare more more for me. I want to eat my way because I cannot eat white rice and stew alone. Ordinary. Flat. No. Mama, you want me to go to the kitchen and make my way for you? Mama, do you realize what the time is? It is past 12 midnight and I'm going to work tomorrow. I'll make it. I'll make it. She doesn't care what I feel. She doesn't care about my feelings. Esther. Yes, sir. Um, good morning, sir. Good morning, morning. What happened to your phone? My phone? I, I, I am very sorry, sir. I, I forgot to charge my phone last night. I'm so sorry. Are you sure you're alright? That you can take the pressures and challenges in this office? Are you sure? Of course, sir. Of course, sir. I, I, I can take the pressure and everything. It's just that I'm having some little domestic problems right now and it will soon be over. I, I will get over it. I'll, I'm sorry, sir. Okay, let me have the recommendations I asked you to prepare. The recommendations I asked you to prepare. Let me have them. Yeah, yes, um, yes, sir. Um, so can I um, can I have just one hour more? Like I, I'm almost done. I just want to round off and I'll get to your office in one hour. I, I, I Are you telling me? Yes, yes. Sir. To my face that what I asked you to go home and prepare, you have not prepared them. I'm sorry, sir. That's what I've been trying to tell you since. I have little 
domestic problems at home that I'm trying to sort out. You know I was not like this when I started work with you. All these things just started. Just give me some time. I, I will deliver. Please just bear with me. Let me have those files. So just give me one time. I'll, I'll, I'll just give it to you just in the next um, 30 minutes. I'll... Can I have those files now? Yes. Do you think I'm doing something? Let me have those files. Yes, I'm sorry. Let me have them. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me have them. Let me have them. You better ship up. I'll ship you out. Put me in trouble, God. You are the one I want to do the job. Why would you bring that? Well, I have analyzed exactly what you wanted, and Brenda here happens to be the best person to handle it. Your Brenda is not good because I know that. The target is not a lesbian. No, no, no. Uh, Brenda is not... She's not a lesbian. Besides, madam, uh, lesbianism is a dirty talk. I'd rather we didn't even talk about it. We didn't even discuss it, please. He has so much confidence in you. Tell me, what can you do? I can do anything, madam. Anything. She says she can do anything. What does she mean by that? Brenda here is the best pimp in the world. Um, pay her her money, and then she would deliver. She would do just what you want. You know, the plan is pimp her to a man who would mesmerize her so much that she would be out of control. Oh. That's good. That's exactly what I want. You know, she's claiming to be a saint. She's claiming to be responsible, but I know she's a useless girl. A whore. She's throwing herself at my son. My son will never marry her. Never. Just name your price and I'll pay you so you can start your work. Um, I don't discuss my price as if we're selling tomatoes. Oh, I will send it to you through an SMS now. Why would you want to use uh, communication via digital services when we can discuss this in here and take a decision now? I have my method and I am not in a hurry to change it. Oh. Your girl is talking tough. Why is she talking tough? Well, I guess uh, she's talking tough because she's tough. I'll get back to you, please. I'll get back to you. Useless girls. I am going to deal with you. <laughs> That rubbish it just did. I don't know what you called rubbish. You don't know what I called rubbish. That woman was ready to pay. She was asking you to name your price. Instead of doing that, you bungled it. Talking about text message. Don't you don't you realize that you shouldn't leave a trace? I said what I said because I just wanted to dismiss myself from her presence. Dismiss from her presence? For what? That woman you called Madame Lufthansa is a busybody, and I'm going to deal with her. I don't understand. I mean, you've, you've been sounding like a member of the Dynamic Frontage these days. What, 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 what was all that? What's dealing with her for now? She didn't ask us to kill anybody. She did not ask us to kidnap. No harm. What 
she wanted was for us to simply set somebody up. Yeah? Bungled it. And in your own opinion, to set someone up is not an offense. I was looking at that woman and I was seeing busybody. And when I deal with such women that will not allow their daughters-in-law to have peace in their son's houses, when I deal with them, I don't look back. Kimberly, I am going to deal with that woman. And when doing that, I am not going to look back. Okay. Obviously, you have an axe to grind with her. Okay? Don't get me involved. Is that all you have to say? Kembalin? Kembalin? Um, these are mere routine tablets. If you are sure that the person really needs rest, these tablets cannot induce rest. The woman in question does not sleep. And she wants me to stay awake all night with her. And the result is that I sleep a lot in the office. My boss just gave me query. And you know queries are not good for someone that is due for promotion. Uh, this is what I'll do. I'll give you a tablet. Then you mix it with these ones. Okay. Uh, it's going to enable her to rest. And you two can as well sleep. I mean, the woman's character is impossible. I mean, everything irritates her, even a phone call. You know what? Everything is a problem to her. Madam, as long as you want that person to have rest, just allow the medical science to handle it, okay? okay, okay. I'll be with you then. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. And let me have that. Why am I not succeeding? Why is everything not working according to plan? Good day, ma. You are back. Oh yes, I'm back. Come back here, sir. Where are my drugs? I couldn't find my drugs. Your drugs? Your drugs should be upstairs. Upstairs? Yes. No. I searched everywhere. They're not there. Uh, maybe you didn't search properly. They are upstairs. I'm, I'm famished. I need to go and eat. Nothing is working. Now, let me ask you one question. Who have you been talking to? I don't like the sound of your voice. Is anything the matter? Two people just left my office now. They know everything. What do you mean by that? Who, who are they and what do they know? Calm down, tell me. Who are they? What do they know? Well, I don't know. I am talking of... Uh, a young man and a young woman. They know everything. They know that you are not sick, that nothing is wrong with you. They know that you connived with me to distort your medical records. And this is against the Hippocratic Oath as a medical doctor. Now, let me ask you again. Why must you open up to people? A young man and a young woman came to your office and quit. <sighs> How is that possible? I, I, I don't know, but let me sound this note of warning. If they do what they threatened and I lose my license, I'm going to kill you. This is serious. Dr. Daniel, you, you, are, you are threatening me? I don't know, you can call it anything. But realize that if you bite me, I'm going to stab you. This is why I don't, want, I don't like doing business with women. They will always disappoint you. You are the only one that knows what transpired between the doctor and I. Now tell me, who gave you the permission to discuss it with your boyfriend? My boyfriend? 
But I'm, I don't know who you're calling my boyfriend. Are you stupid? What? You don't know me. Who do you think I am? See, I could just kill you here and nothing will happen. Tell me, why did you discuss with your boyfriend? You know, as a woman, it's good that from time to time you're handled and handled and handled. I hear you. You know, um, I'm happy you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> oh, I do know I'm in trouble though. <laughs> but I'm with Hansel, we we'll definitely know something happened. Why? How? Is she some kind of witch? No, I just know that from the moment I step into that house, she's going to ask me the name of the guy that made love to me. It has happened twice in the past, and this is part of the reason I don't mingle with guys. Yes, sir, Lufthansa, Lufthansa. Brenda told me that she's dating Dr. Daniels. Is that true as far as you know? It's not like they're hiding it. Dr. Daniels is her boyfriend and her partner in crime. Countless number of times he's come to spend the night in our house with her. Is she that loose? I mean, is she so loose to bring her boyfriend into the same house, housing her son and fiance? No, 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 you got it all wrong. It's not this house. I meant our original house. Oh, wow. So you, you have another house? Of course we have another house. That was the house I used to live alone with my madame before we moved into Hillary's house. Madame Lufthansa and her boyfriend doctor created a false medical report that states that she's sick. That was all a ploy to get into Hillary's life, gain access, and then she can continue on her gimmicks to send us the packing. Brenda, Brenda is too much. Oh, and by the way, how did she know that uh, my madam and Dr. Daniels are dating? Anyway, um, the chief telephone operator is her boyfriend. He gave her certain code numbers that enables her to hack into people's numbers, hack into people's phones and um, listen to their conversations. Uh, even as we speak, I doubt very much if, not, if she's not listening to Madame Lufthansa's conversation right now. Useless girl. Why are you looking at me as if I have water in my mouth? Why did you discuss it with your boyfriend? Why? Did he tell you that I told him anything? Oh. So finally you have accepted that it's your boyfriend. Oh. oh my goodness. Why are you so loose? Why are you so loose? Why? Why are you so <laughs> Mother. You don't look fine. Your drugs are upstairs. Get out, stupid girl. You stupid idiot. Is anything the problem? This, this stupid girl is getting too loose. How many weeks have we been here? Eh? But she already has a boyfriend in this neighborhood. My God, listen to me. Don't let her touch anything that is food that I'm going to eat. Please. Mother, talking about food, um, what would you want to eat? Because I don't want to make mistakes again. In your mind now, you think you are succeeding, isn't it? You are far, far away from success because you're just deceiving yourself. Well, Mother, the effort I'm making is to please God and to please my conscience. And I know that if I please God, I'm pleasing you because you're a Christian mother. Oh, get out. Leave my, my place. Uh, um, mother, you've not said what you want to eat. Oh, God. Go away. Oh, sorry. Chief Chef, what else do you know how to do? 
cook in the morning, cook in the afternoon, cook in the night. Nothing more. It's everything. No. Oh my goodness. It's. Hi. You see, that very day I told you I was going to deal with that woman. You thought I was being difficult. Now, am I not vindicated? She has proven to be the very definition of wickedness. You see, that woman is the least of my problems. The man I'm focusing on right now is Dr. Daniels. That man compromised his profession. And I am going to deal with him. <laughs> I don't understand why. Oh, the singer is calling. Pick up the call. Hello, dear. You, you, I am disappointed to note that you are a terrible gossip. You're calling me a gossip? May I know why? Everything I told you about my madame and the doctor, I did tell you because we have become friends. Why would you betray me by opening up to the doctor? Well, from the way you're sounding, it's obvious that your madame has confronted you. And if she has confronted you, it means that the doctor has spoken with her. And for me, that is good. Very, very good. It's good, yeah? That's what you think? Do you know I may actually lose my job? Do you? You shouldn't be talking about losing your job. What you should be concerned with is a line of justice. The way your madame is treating that young girl is very, very wrong. See, I have spoken with Esther. And I know that the only problem she's having with that woman is because she is from Isela Ulissa. I am going to prove to your madame that you don't treat people anyhow. You don't disrespect people just because of where they come from. Listen, listen. I opened up to you because we are, we are friends and I expect you to do the same for me. Now what are you planning? What is your plan? Listen. Do you realize that the man speaking with you is from Isela Ulissa? What? Are you... Are you serious? Wait, wait. You're Esther's brother? Anyway, tell your madame. As a matter of fact, warn your madame that it is only a mad dog that eats the kid, the little baby, and is kept under his care. And for you, you better start in time to submit under the supremacy of Esther. Otherwise, you will soon realize that you have nowhere to hide when I come after you. That's a good one. What? Have you been listening? How long have you been standing there? I am so disappointed. I am so disappointed that you're one of the people that seek to destroy me. I have not done any wrong to you. But you know what? If you plan evil against me, ah, my Jehovah Yahweh, the owner of my life will come to my rescue. Wait, 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 Esther, Esther, wait, 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 please, please. Just... It's not fair on me if you conclude like that. You know that I've always liked you. The very first day you came to our house with your husband, I really liked you, you know. I know. Yes. You've always liked me. That I know. <sighs> but you have changed. Now. You seek to seduce my fiance. Why? 
I'm sorry. This was this was never my intention. It it's my mother, Madame Lufthansa. She she compelled me to do this, and now I regret ever being part of it. You know what? There is more to this visit that nobody has told me about. Lucy, yeah. I want you to be my friend again and tell me why Madame came here. It's complicated. Huh? I thought as much. But Lucy, listen to me and listen carefully. I need you to tell me what I need to know. That will be inside. Excuse me. She has a very good heart. But Madame Lufthansa is making her an evil person. There's something I want you to understand. The mere fact that you now have a boyfriend in this neighborhood has made you so unholy before me. I don't trust you anymore. But there's only one way to gain back my trust. Tell me. What have you been discussing with Esther? I don't want you to lie to me. That won't be necessary. I saw both of you outside talking. Yes, but I practically walked out on her. She was trying to get some information from me, but I didn't tell her anything. Like what and what did she ask you? Well, she she's suspecting that there's another reason we're here. And she asked me to tell her if I knew. But I just told her that my madame has been sick and the doctor says that she comes stay with her son to make her recover quickly. I want you to know that I'm still your trusted Lucy. I would never betray you. On my own. Excuse me. Why is it that I don't trust her anymore? What do you want from me? We are not in the habit of destroying anybody. But if anyone wants to be destroyed, we will always assist. Look, I want you to know that I have already reported your visit to the police. You must understand that the police are looking for you now. And we are making efforts to report you to the Medical Council because you're not fit to be a doctor. Look, Daniel, close down that bloody clinic of yours. Otherwise, we will be forced to run you down. And I'll tell you something right now. We have nothing, absolutely nothing to lose. Come, who hired you? We're hired by the tiny line of justice. Mr. B. Doctor. Daniel, who will soon become an ordinary Mr. Daniel. People like you who pervert the cause of justice at war with my boss. Now listen. I want to close this place, and I'm serious about it. How much do you want me to pay you? You are a fool to think that everything is about money. We are not part of the people you can buy. Corrupt men like you that participate in constant destruction of this country will never be tolerated. Leave now before your name appears in all the papers. Dr. Daniel, let me warn you. You can go to any extent to stamp out corruption. God, why did I fall into this trap? Bis 
sleeping now. Are you going to sleep? Go and cook noodles for me. Noodles by this time of the night. Just go. Go and cook something. Go, go, go. Shouldn't be sleeping. She knows what she's doing. She wants me to keep awake all night so that I can go insane. <laughs> Noodles my foot. You were a fool to think that everything is about money. We are not part of the people you can buy. Corrupt men like you that participate in constant destruction of this country will never be tolerated. Leave now before your name appears in all the papers. Dr. Daniel, you can go to any extent to stamp out corruption. I listened to Madame Lufthansa and I shot myself in the foot. This is not the end of my career. I don't know why you are calling me this morning. You have ruined me. Well, you're my doctor now. If I have any medical condition, you are the one I must call. What type of medical condition is that? I don't know what is happening to me. Yeah? I'm, I, I'm supposed to keep awake all night so I can frustrate this witch my son went to bring from Isel Ulisa. But my plan is no longer working because every other night I find myself Sleeping uncontrollably. Well, if I must tell you the truth, just go ahead and sleep every other night because you cause much trouble when you are wide awake. Is that an insult or what? My main concern now is how to solve the problem you created for me. If you sleep every other night, then go ahead. And I must not start this morning on nonsense. This is unacceptable. Dr. Tania cutting the phone on me. What's this? Morning, Ma. Your breakfast is served. Breakfast? Yes. Prepared by who? I've always been the one making you breakfast aside me. Of course, I made the breakfast. As it is now, I'm even weary of you at this moment. But why, Ma? It's still me, Lucy, your trusted maid. I have this feeling that you, you know what is happening to me. So you need to explain. I don't know what's happening to you. I do know that lately you've been sleeping at night and I think it's good for you. What did you just say? I noticed that you don't sleep at night and it's been disturbing me. But then again, lately you've been sleeping, so I think it's good for you. I'm happy for you. Get out. Get out. Sorry. Stupid girl. Sorry. How foolish she is. Your number one nurse in this clinic. I know something is wrong, and I am asking you to tell me what is going on. Why have they removed our signpost? And you've asked us to discharge and transfer all patients on admission.
one tiny mistake on my part has cost me my profession. I don't get it. What is going on? The hospital has been blacklisted. My license has been withdrawn. It has become illegal for me to practice medicine in this country. This is serious. What happened? It's a long story, my dear. But I am sure my case will serve as a deterrent to other of my colleagues who still compromise on the Hippocratic Oath. One tiny mistake on my part, and some hooligans have petitioned everywhere in the country. Now I am ruined. Good. Remarkable that you are finally, finally demoralized. It is remarkable that you, Madame Lufthansa, you are finally shedding tears. But you know, those tears. They are nothing but crocodile tears to me because they are coming late. Just look at you, mother. Take a look at yourself. Look at what you have done to yourself. You... you have succeeded in dragging the name of this family in the mud. You have succeeded in ruining the thriving career of a doctor. A doctor who was on the verge of retirement. Just look at yourself, mother. I came here today to commiserate with you on the shame you have brought upon yourself. And to tell you that the news is everywhere. Oh yes. Everybody knows that Madame Lufthansa was responsible for the collapse of the hospital. Everybody. I wish you luck. Oh, I wish you luck, Mother. I will leave. But before I go, I want to tell you this. Those who live in glass houses, they do not throw stones. I wish you luck. Please wait. Please forgive me. I don't know what came over me. I went to the extreme to the minute what got started. I looked at it all the ways. Now I know the true meaning of love conquers. All things. I am ruined. But I'm begging you to please forgive me. Please, I'm sorry. I know she loves you with her whole heart. 
And I must tell you that she's a noble woman. Give you my blessing. Go ahead and make her your wife. <laughs> date of birth hmm? your date of birth what about it it tells me that you are under a curse of a snake which has been causing misfortunes in your life curse a snake um, <laughs> sorry how does that affect my relationship i'm sure my friend told you why i'm here 